So I get a lot of comments on YouTube and Twitch and Instagram stuff, some messages, people asking me how I got my job editing for Leon, how we met. So today I'm gonna to be walking you guys through how I met Leon, how we got in contact, how I got my job and sort of how we developed our friendship uh, over the two years that I've been working for him now. So I think most of you guys know that I started out as a fan um, and probably like a lot of you, uh, the first video I saw was about the Australian brothers dying video, the extreme games. I remember getting it in my recommended literally like every day for a week and like refusing to watch and then finally caving and watching it. Anyway, the rest is history. Loved the video. Thought it was hilarious. Loved his style of editing, especially. Um, I showed my brother and my girlfriend and shit. I was just like super hyped. Became a really big fan of, of Leon. I became such a big fan that I ended up following him on all of his other social medias, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Twitch, even though at the time he'd only been streaming like literally once a year. Like I think he'd only streamed like twice. Um, I actually messaged him on Instagram. I'll see if I can find the message about an insufferable Instagram video he made about Paper Chase and this other dude, 3-6. And I actually know those dudes in real life. And I'll just say that, yeah, their internet personalities kind of line up to who they are in real life. <laughs> very brief pause to let you guys know that I just released my very first apparel drop. These designs are super sick. I'm very happy with how they turned out. Links are in the description, all that shit. I'll tell you more at the end of the video. Okay, bye. Miraculously, I stumbled across his stream because I had followed him on Twitch. And I'm telling you right now, guys, he literally streamed like once a year back in the day. No one knew about his Twitch stream. I think he had like 40 or 50 concurrent viewers. While I was on his stream, I heard him talking about how he needed a producer or a mixing engineer for his EP that he wanted to release over the summer. Make upload content-based goals, not subscriber goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. No, okay. So content-based goals is a good one. Uh, here's a knee jerk for content-based goals. I've been wanting to get an EP done for like the end of the summer. So that's a huge goal of mine. I've, I've talked about this before and I just, I haven't come through. So I, I don't like to, but since you asked, I, I, I want to have an EP done like five or six songs by the end of the summer. I actually come from a music background more than a video uh, production background. Leon's actually the first person I've edited for ever. I mean, I had edited videos for clients before that I had shot like weddings or events or something, but like I had never, edited for a YouTuber before him, uh, which is kind of funny, but I'd had a studio in my house. I had been mixing songs professionally for a few years. So I was like, this is a perfect opportunity for me to maybe start to work with him, which is definitely a dream. I've always wanted to work in the YouTube landscape. So actually in chat, I put that I was a seasoned mixing engineer interested in working with him. And he actually responded and gave me his business contact information. Josh Rock Productions experienced engineer and want to help you mix your EP or something. Dude, honestly, I could use help mixing. I think mixing is probably one of the hardest things for me. Like I love doing it. I've spent a lot of time studying it and like trying to practice, but there's certain hurdles I have a really hard time getting over. Shoot me an email if you want. To my to my business email having someone that can help mix and put on some bells and whistles and finishing touches might be really beneficial so maybe we could maybe we could link up I also heard him mentioning in this stream that he was thinking about hiring an editor for a second channel and even though I didn't have very extensive uh, history editing commentary videos, if any at all. I uh, ended up throwing that in the email too. What kind of editing help would I need for my Lush Life channel? Making the full video, like just getting the raw footage, chopping it up and adding some bells and whistles. Uh, it's, I've never really worked extensively with, with an editor, so it's you, know, you gotta find a chemistry there, I think. I actually found the email I sent him. This is so weird, dude. This was May 12th of 2019 when I sent this. I was on your Twitch stream, said I could help mix your EP. You're planning on releasing this summer. I'll attach some mixes that I've done over the last year so seriously i'd be thrilled to work with you in any way i can i really look up to you huge inspiration that's funny i'm also a seasoned editor cap and would love to help edit your lush live channel as you mentioned possibly hiring editors so i literally just told them i was a seasoned editor honestly i wasn't like i mean i mean let me rephrase it's not like i had no editing experience i just didn't have any professional editing experience especially in the commentary genre Anyway, so I didn't actually respond right away, but this was the same time when this James Charles controversy was coming out with Toddy Westbrook and uh, Leon released his Straight Boys, uh, <laughs> James Charles song. I wanna fuck. Straight boys, why is that so much to ask? So I ended up remixing his song and uh, tweeting it at him and he ended up retweeting it, which was awesome because I was trying to make an impression on him that I, you know, knew internet culture and knew how to edit and stuff. And then he ended up getting back to me and we ended up having a phone call, which was huge for me because I feel like I could finally just tell him what I'm capable of and that we could work something out. It's funny, I was so excited about this. I like recorded it. I was so, so fucking pumped. <laughs> it was just hilarious. So dude, uh, another thing I was going to ask you about was like, um, so would you be at all interested in doing a music video uh, when all this shit comes out? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely like, if I actually do start, you know, I say when I do start pumping out some more music, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to do a music video. 
We ended up talking for like an hour and a half, totally broed out, just talking about life and stuff. And uh, it was super sick. And he was like, dude, I'll, you know, send you uh, some footage for a vlog and see what you can come up with. And that leads us to my first edit for him, which is this video right here. So I smashed the edit out. Um, he really liked it. No revisions or anything, which was super dope. And uh, I was, I, it was just a huge moment for me because it was the first time I had worked on something that actually got views. I'd been trying to, you know, release music my whole life and release videos on different things and nothing ever was really catching ground. And to see something get, you know, I think it got like 10,000 views in the first week. That was like huge. I was like so stoked about that. I was like, hell yeah, this is sick. Like 10,000 people saw this like edit that I did. And that really put like lit a fire under my ass and made me like, let's go, dude. I want to, you know, I want to get this going. And I did my first commentary edit for him. Uh, which is this Lush Life video here. It's not that you don't have a dad, you have, you have extra dads. <laughs> so I feel like that should be like kind of a flex play at school. You'd be like, yo, you don't have a dad, loser, I got two. And that one ended up kind of blowing up and I, th I can't remember how many views it got initially, but it got, I could look at the Lush Life analytics and actually I'll put it on screen. Here's what it got like in the first month. <laughs> And then here's how it kind of blew up and progressed, but it ended up just doing really well. And that was awesome. The channel like started doing really well. And I think this really encouraged Leon and our relationship obviously grew through that until VidCon. Now around this time is when I worked on my first main channel video. I didn't edit the whole video or anything, but I edited the music video portion and mixed the song that was in the video from this video here. Um, and I was in it for a little bit. We did like a little chess bit. I'll play a clip now. Hello? Oh, thank God. What's up, dude? dude I, didn't, I didn't think you were gonna pick up. Listen, I got a job for you and I need it done immediately. You're not busy uh, right now, I hope. Oh, dude, I am sorry. The timing could not be worse. I am absolutely slammed right now. <sighs> All right, uh, what if I pay to fly you out to VidCon with me? Hello? Josh? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a yes then. But anyway, this kind of led us to the shout out that he gave me at the end of the video, which was this. If you guys could please help get this poor bastard Josh to 1K sub so he can one day in the future monetize his channel to help pay for his vintage anime collection, I would greatly appreciate that. And this was fucking huge. I had like 190 subscribers before this shout out. And I remember I got like 3000 subscribers in a day or something like that. And it finally, some of my videos were starting to get views and it was just, I didn't expect it. I didn't ask for it he just did it he just gave me the shout out uh which kind of just it shows his character it's just kind of the guy he is he's he, leon's a really nice guy you know you you know never really know about people on the internet and shit but you know you could take it from me like he's he's genuinely a really humble down-to-earth person so we're still trucking along at this point you know i get back from vidcon and you know i'm just doing my grind editing these lush life videos uh editing a few main channel videos here and there and then we get an opportunity to go to new york to do a collaboration with badlands chugs Now this was this was a huge fucking awesome point for us. Um, I'd edited a few main channel videos, like I said. Uh, it was sick to go see where he lived. I flew in and saw like his old house now and stayed with him and Mrs. Lush. We made a Lush Life video, all three of us for the first time. Uh, we drove to New York, made the collab with Badlands, which ended up blowing up and becoming the most popular video on his channel ever. And on the same trip, we filmed the Your Crib music video, which fucking bangs and turned out awesome. And uh, super proud of that. Uh, both the music videos, Chill and Your Crib, to film and edit those, I'm super proud of those. And obviously the Badlands video, filming and editing that um, was just huge to be able to film a video that, I don't know, it looks really nice, it flows well, I like the editing, it's a good story, it's funny, and the fact that it ended up blowing up in the way that it did and becoming his most popular video, it just really kind of like gave me some gratification, you know, that 
uh, people really are enjoying the work that I'm doing uh, with Leon. Anyway, around this time, I was really wanting to move into a full-time thing. I was working a job throughout this whole thing, like a contract entry, boring data entry, corporate job, right? Just to pay the bills, okay? <laughs> and I was, this is around like the start of quarantine. I was like, Leon, I really would like to move towards a full-time if that's something that you're willing to do. And he was like, yeah, let me see how I can make that work. And then I was like, right when I was like, here we go, we're about to go full-time. I'm gonna be able to quit my job. I'm gonna be able to take a shit on my boss's desk. They fired me. <laughs> okay, so they didn't like fire me technically. It was like during COVID times and they had to let me go because I was just a contract employee, whatever. I never got the satisfaction of being able to quit. Um, but needless to say, I was now full-time editing, which is crazy. Like that's a dream come true that I don't have to work a corporate job, that I can do something creative every day was a huge milestone in my life. And that's thanks to Leon taking a chance on me when he honestly, in all honesty, he could have hired someone way more qualified to edit for Lush Life, but he took a chance on me and I'm glad he did. And I think I proved myself uh, through, especially like the chill, the music videos, the Badlands and stuff like that. Um, but I obviously I owe it all to him for, for taking a chance on me in the first place. Anyway, fast forward a little while and uh, he asked us to move to Massachusetts, me and Kenna, and uh, we did. And we uprooted our whole lives, moved across the country uh, to live here. And, um, you know, it's it's been it's been awesome. Honestly, I love it. I love the area we're at. I love where we live. I just wanted to walk you guys through how all of this came to be for those of you who are interested. And just for anyone who's interested, because I always get super interested about this stuff, this kind of stuff, like total numbers and stuff. Here's the the amount of videos that I've edited for Lush Life in total. And here's the view count for all those videos. All of the main channel videos I've edited and the view count for those. And here's all the gaming videos that I've edited for him and the view count for those to make a whopping total of view count. Really quick before I reveal the big number, I just want to plug the apparel one last time. I would really appreciate any support you guys can give. And I'm really excited about this drop. Okay, onward. Right here on screen that you are seeing that I'm going to have to fucking add up later. Anyway, this video is probably plenty long as it is. Uh, I just wanted to uh, can explain for the 50th time why I'm making this video. I'll shut up now. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, shoot me a follow on, on Twitter and Instagram and all that shit if you're interested. Um, also, Twitch. I've been streaming weekly. Um, once or twice a week. So make sure you give me a follow there if you're interested in, in watching live stream stuff. I seriously appreciate you guys for your continued support. Have yourself a good rest of the day, uh, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever the fuck it is. And I'll see you guys in the next one.